everyone, it's me, Raven Jade, and tonight I thought I would drag you guys along with me as I came out here and hunted some Mortarhead and Mortarhead royalty. And hopefully we'll get some swirlies and some good stuff. I'm over here at the uh, Mortarhead Stadium, and this is about the area that I jumped to to get to the... Um, the motorhead so let's take some pills because hey why not I'm gonna take an Easter egg and I'm going to take a 10% skill pill and I'm also going to remember to take my loot pill and now it's time to do a little pew 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 oh I guess the first thing we're killing is a deer yeah, Rocktropia has all sorts of mobs that you would see out in the wild in real life. There's deers, there's panthers, sometimes there's vampires. You see those out in the wild, right? <laughs> now, Mortarhead in general are very aggro friendly, so you want to keep very uh, far away from them if you can, otherwise you are going to get swarmed. And not in the fun way. So I've been getting a lot of um, feedback from my uh, latest video, uh, the win the hunting date with me. You guys have until February 14th to subscribe and to enter it if you haven't already I've been getting some <laughs> pretty interesting dating requests so it'll be fun to choose the winner and it's going to be at random because if I chose my favorite that you know I don't know if that would be totally fair so I'm just going to put all the names in a um, some sort of random picker and we will get a winner so Motorhead Drop Paint, if you're looking for black paint, you will definitely find them here. Burgundy as well. I'm only going after the small royalty. I had a lot of fun last night and I really, after the fact, should have thought to uh, do some YouTubing of it. I was out with a group of people and we did Daspilators up on FOMA and uh, we got a couple of swirlies but like no major hoff so we quickly left them. And then about 10 or 12 of us went over here to Rocktropia and we did the 16 waves of zombies and we uh, spawned the Big Kong. Yeah. We were really hoping for some Hoff, uh, well, I was going to say some Hoffs, but it was only one Kong. But we were hoping for a Big Hoff, but we ended up just getting like um, less than 300 pet globals. So it was like, eh, not my favorite thing, but it happens. So hopefully Motorhead tonight will make up for my losses last night, I'm hoping. I'm going out with a thousand head of ammo as usual. And I did have someone in my comments on an earlier video, uh, they, they commented that they were worried that this game was too expensive for their budget. And I just want to say that just because I go out with a thousand pet hunt, uh, just because that's what I cycle doesn't mean that's what you need to cycle. You can go out on a lot smaller mobs with a lot smaller hunting budgets and do just fine. It's just my own personal playing style. I just like to hunt a long time without having to go back to the TT machine. So that's what I do. And what's right for me might not be right for you. And vice versa. So don't feel like you have to go out with this much ped. Some people go out with even more ped per hunt than I do, and I certainly can't do that, so it really does all depend on your budget and how you want to play this game. So far, not getting a lot of good loot, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get something better soon. I find that I usually can do okay on motorheads. And this big bad boy is a motorhead security. 
kind of ugly. <laughs> I wouldn't want to meet him in the dark alley. I don't think that, uh... I don't think that I would survive it. <laughs> but definitely if you're looking for a lot of paint, your motorhead will definitely give you lots of the different kinds. You got the burnt umber, and you got the dark mauve. Not sure that they have much markup, not really. But if you're looking for something a little out of the ordinary, you might find it over here. <laughs> Who turned the loot off? I'm not getting really anything much. I got 75 peck of yellow paint and like 41 peck of um, ammo, 82 peck of shrapnel. Nothing's really getting me excited here. I need to get some tingles here. <laughs> I want to be excited by this loot. These mobs really do look mean and nasty. <laughs> Ooh, I got a... what kind of axe did I get? Get a road crew axe, nine ped TT. I usually will take these axes over to my Arcadia shop and uh, sell them there. So this was a little bit of a mini, a mini loot. So things look like they could be looking up. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Uh oh! Get too close. Gonna get swarmed. Not good. Gotta do the <laughs> back it up method here. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. I just mean back up away from the swarm of mobs. I'm innocent, I, I, I swear. <laughs> Got another little mini. I got a custom Brutal Road crew axe on that one. 24 ped. Doesn't have any markup. 100% for the year. Yet, yeah, no thanks. It's going straight to the TT. See, the only thing about these axes is that usually, except for the um, the nine ped one, I don't usually sell too many of the other ones. So even though I'm not getting any globals, I am getting a fair amount of bigger loot windows. So hopefully, at the end of this hunt, it won't be so bad. So I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but Arcadia has come out with their version of an Equus, and they are going. It's a limited, um, it's a limited edition. So it it's not uh, it's not a limited ship. It, it's unlimited, but there's only going to be so many of them for sale, and uh, they're selling them for 50k. Uh, ped, but my opinion on that is the Equus when they were first introduced were 50k ped as well, but they've been out for some time now, and um, as people have been selling them off, they have uh, lowered in value a little bit. You can get an Equus for about 42, 45k at the moment, so um. I have mixed feelings on Arcadia's version of the Equus. I'm, I don't know if a skin alone, because they have the exact same stats, I don't know if a skin alone would make me want to pay more money. So, I think if they were going to introduce their version of the Equus, they should have did it at the same time maybe, or introduce it in a different way, like make it a reward for like some epic um, epic chain mission chain like a, an epic mission chain you know how Arcadia has the um, you know you hunt the Ortans for like basically a year and at the end you get like a bound um, dropship well I think they could have done something similar to that with but like on a more obviously high scale level for them to you know pay for the uh, the ship so it, it's like I said my opinion is I'm not sure if I would pay 50k ped for Arcadia's version of the Equus 
and I would love to know your thoughts. Would you? Uh, are you considering it? What would you pay for? I mean, my problem with the Equuses themselves is, and I've had one, I have my keychain and everything that my Dark sent me for it, but it's very limited. You can only have one other passenger besides yourself. You can't be any heavier than 150 kilograms combined, or you cannot warp, and you slow down in speed after 100 kilo. Ugh. You slow down in speed after 100 kilograms of weight so they're not really in my opinion they're not really that that perfect I'd rather be on a mothership or a privateer so I don't know I'd love to hear what you guys think Woo! finally a global 54 pet not much but I will take it woo 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 <laughs> I got a 25 pet legendary road crew axe and again no no real markup to speak of 103 percent for the year so it will probably go to the TT as well but yes finally finally a slurp whirly I didn't think I was gonna get them tonight and I got a 22, 32, 34 ped uh, mini, so it looks like it might be heating up. Don't you like hot loot? <laughs> you know, I like hot stuff. Woo! Got another global! Yay! It is heating up! Woo, woo, woo! Another 54 ped global. I swear I did not loop it together and make, a s <laughs> make the same... Um, Global. This one is a Brutal Rock and Rural Axe 40 Ped TT with 105% for the year. So axes don't really tend to sell well from Rocktropia, but they definitely will feed the TT machine. <laughs> well, I've been having a lot of fun doing these Motorhead royalties, but I just got the message that my gun is going to break, so I might be able to kill one or two more. And then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this hunt a little short. But I've definitely been getting a lot of minis. Well, that's not a mini. Um, and a couple of globals, so I'm really excited to see what the the damage is when, when I get back to the TT machine. Alright, so I had a whole bunch of axes here, so let's them out. I had 338 head left of the thousand for the uh, hunt itself. All right, and then got a whole bunch of loot here. Okay, so I went out with a thousand. My gun did die a little early in, but I still came out pretty good. Uh, 1112 .05. Clear that out. And... My armor is about 35 ped. So not too bad. Yes, I know some of you are going to say, but what about the gun decay, Raven? What about the gun decay? I loot a lot of my own guns, so I I don't even look at the uh, the TT value when I'm when I'm calculating. I know I should, and I'll get better at that. But I'm going to call this hunt a win. And I had tons of fun, and I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. I would love to hear what mob and what planet you would like to see me hunt next, because I'm running out of ideas. I'm I'm here on Rocktropia a lot, and uh, I need to get out of my comfort zone, so give me some suggestions. And until the next video, <laughs> if you guys are going to be bad, <laughs> be good at it. Mwah. Bye!